What if I told you that something just appeared out of nowhere in our solar system? Something that was hiding in plain sight until just a few weeks ago. And here's the crazy part. It's been traveling for over 20,000 years just to visit us right now. In October 2025, we're witnessing something that won't happen again until the year 24,579. We are talking about Comet C2025R2, also known as Comet SWAN, and what it just did near Earth has astronomers calling it one of the most incredible comet discoveries in recent history. So here's where our story begins. On September 11, 2025, a Ukrainian amateur astronomer named Vladimir Bazugli was doing what he loves, scanning through images from a spacecraft called SOHO, which stands for Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. Now, SOHO has a special camera called SWAN, Solar Wind Anisotropies, and it's designed to monitor the solar wind around the sun. But here's what makes this discovery so incredible. Vladimir wasn't looking at some fancy high-resolution telescope images. He was examining low-resolution public images that anyone can access online. And that's when he saw it. A bright blob moving across the field of view. But this wasn't just any blob. This was an incredibly bright comet that was practically screaming for attention. Now why is this discovery being called impossible? Well, let me explain. Between August 7th and September 13th, 2025, this comet was less than 30 degrees away from the sun. Think about that for a second. Try looking for something that's close to the sun with a telescope. It's like trying to spot a firefly next to a stadium floodlight. The sun's glare makes it nearly impossible to see anything near it. This comet was essentially hiding behind the sun's brightness, playing cosmic hide-and-seek. And it was doing this during its most important moment, when it was approaching perihelion, which is the point where a comet gets closest to the sun. It's like the comet snuck up on us while wearing an invisibility cloak made of sunlight. Vladimir later said, In my memory, this is one of the brightest comet discoveries ever made on SWAN imagery. And this is the 20th official comet discovered, using SWAN so this expert knows what he's talking about. This discovery was so significant that the International Astronomical Union quickly gave it an official designation, Comet C 2025-R2. But here's where it gets even more interesting. The comet was discovered on September 11th, just one day before it reached perihelion on September 12th. Can you imagine? This cosmic traveler journeyed for thousands of years and we only spotted it at literally the last possible moment before its closest approach to the sun. Now let's talk about where this thing came from because this is absolutely mind-blowing. Comet C2025R2 Swan is what we call a long-period comet. How long are we talking? Try wrapping your head around this. It takes about 22,554 years to complete one orbit around the sun. Some estimates even put it at over 654 years at minimum, though scientists are still refining these numbers because the comet was only just discovered. This means the last time this comet visited the inner solar system, humans were still living in the Stone Age. Woolly mammoths were still roaming the Earth. The pyramids of Egypt wouldn't be built for another 17,000 years. Let that sink in for a moment. This comet comes from a region of space called the Oort Cloud. Now, the Oort Cloud is like the solar system's deep freezer. It's a vast, spherical shell of icy objects that surrounds our entire solar system at an incredible distance. We're talking about distances of up to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. One astronomical unit is the distance from Earth to the Sun, which is about 93 million miles. So we're talking about truly mind-boggling distances here. The comet has been drifting through the cold, dark depths of space for millennia. Something, perhaps the gravitational influence of a passing star, or the general gravitational tide of the Milky Way galaxy, nudged it onto a trajectory that brought it plunging toward the inner solar system. 
And after thousands of years of traveling through the void, it finally arrived here in 2025. When it reached perihelion on September 12th, it passed about 0.5 astronomical units from the Sun. That's about 75 million kilometers, or roughly 46 million miles. To put that in perspective, that's just outside the orbit of Mercury at its farthest point from the Sun. But here's what really gets me. If everything goes as planned, and if this comet survives this journey, and that's always a big if with comets, it won't return until around the year 24,579. That's more than 22,000 years from now. None of us will be here. Our great-great-great-grandchildren for hundreds of generations won't be here. This is literally a once in 22,000 year event that we're witnessing right now. So what makes Comet S-A-N so spectacular? Well, first off, let's talk about what it looks like. When amateur astronomers first started observing it, they saw something incredible. A tail stretching about 2 to 2.5 degrees across the sky. To give you some perspective, that's about five full moon diameters long. Now keep in mind that cameras are more sensitive than human eyes, so you wouldn't see all of that with your naked eye, but still. That's one impressive tail. The comet also has a beautiful greenish coma. That's the fuzzy cloud of gas and dust surrounding the comet's nucleus. This green color comes from diatomic carbon molecules that get excited by sunlight and emit that characteristic green glow. It's like nature's own glow stick, but on a cosmic scale. As of early October 2025, the comet is shining at around magnitude 5.9 to 6.4. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with how astronomers measure brightness, the magnitude scale works backward. The smaller the number, the brighter the object. Magnitude 6 is right at the edge of what the human eye can see in perfectly dark skies. But with binoculars or a small telescope, it becomes much easier to spot. And here's where it gets exciting. The comet might be getting brighter. Some observers have reported what might be an outburst, where the comet suddenly increases in brightness. This happens when large chunks of ice suddenly vaporize, releasing a burst of gas and dust. Some predictions suggest it could brighten to magnitude 4 or even magnitude 5.8, which would make it much easier to see even from areas with moderate light pollution. On October 20th, 2025, the comet will reach its closest approach to Earth at a distance of about 39 million kilometers. That's roughly 24 million miles, or about 0.26 astronomical units. Now don't worry, that's nowhere near close enough to be dangerous. For comparison, that's about a quarter of the distance from Earth to the Sun. But it's close enough that it should put on quite a show for anyone with binoculars or a telescope but wait, there's more! October 20th is shaping up to be an incredible night for sky watchers because it's not just about Comet SWAN. On that same evening, you'll also be able to see another comet called Comet C2025A6, Lemon, in a different part of the sky. Plus, the Orionid meteor shower will be active, potentially producing up to 20 bright, fast meteors per hour. And the best part? The moon will be in a phase that keeps the sky dark, perfect for comet watching. It's like the universe is throwing us a cosmic party. Now we need to address something because whenever something exciting happens in space, the internet goes absolutely wild with theories. And Comet SWAN is no exception. Some people on social media have been claiming that Comet SWAN is going to collide with another object called 3i slash ATLAS and they're saying both objects are actually alien spaceships preparing for some kind of space battle behind the sun. Let me be absolutely clear, there is zero scientific evidence for any of this. These claims come from conspiracy videos, not from actual astronomers who have studied these objects. Here are the facts. Comet C2025R, 2SWAN, and 3I slash ATL. AS are completely unrelated objects. SWAN is a long-period comet from our own solar system's Oort cloud. 3i slash ATLAS is an interstellar object, meaning it came from beyond our solar system entirely. They're completely different types of objects with completely different origins. More importantly, their orbits don't even cross. 
Swan already reached its closest point to the sun on September 12th and is now heading back out into space. 3i slash ATLAS won't reach its closest point to the sun until October 29th. They're not even in the same neighborhood at the same time. There was also some speculation about a potential meteor shower on October 4th to 6th, when Earth crosses through the comet's orbital path. While it's true that diagrams show our paths intersecting, scientists have pointed out that these are 2D representations of 3D orbits. The actual distance between Earth and the comet's debris trail is much greater than it appears in those simplified diagrams, so don't expect any dramatic meteor storms. All right, so you're probably wondering, like, can I actually see this thing? The answer is possibly yes, uh, but you'll need the right conditions and some help from binoculars or a telescope. First, let's talk about timing. The comet is currently visible in the evening sky, appearing low on the western horizon just after sunset. It's moving through different constellations as it travels. It started in Virgo, moved into Libra, and by mid-October will be in Sagittarius. Around November 3rd, it crosses the celestial equator and begins its long journey back to the outer solar system. Now, here's the thing about observing Comet SWAN. Your success will depend heavily on where you live. If you're in the southern hemisphere, you've got the best view. The comet appears higher in the sky after sunset, making it easier to spot. If you're in the northern hemisphere, like many of us, it's trickier because the comet is low on the horizon, where atmospheric haze and light pollution can make it harder to see. The peak viewing time is going to be around October 18th to 21st, 2025, when the comet makes its closest approach to Earth. On October 20th specifically, you'll have that triple treat I mentioned. Two comets and a meteor shower all in one night. Here's what you'll need. First, find a location away from city lights if possible. Light pollution is the enemy of comet watching. Second, bring binoculars at minimum. While the comet might become visible to the naked eye under perfect dark sky conditions, binoculars will make it much easier to spot and will show you more detail. Third, give your eyes at least 20 to 30 minutes to adjust to the darkness. This is crucial. Look toward the southwest horizon just after sunset. The comet will appear as a fuzzy patch with a greenish tint and, if you're lucky, a faint tail extending away from it. It won't look like the dramatic pictures you see online. Those are long exposure photographs that capture much more light than our eyes can see. But seeing it with your own eyes is a special experience that no photograph can replace. There are also great apps you can use to help you locate it. Sky Tonight is a free app where you can just type in the comet's name and it'll show you exactly where to look. It's like having a personal tour guide to the night sky. When we study comets, we're literally studying pristine material from the dawn of the solar system. It's like finding a perfectly preserved snapshot of what the early solar system was like. The ice, the organic molecules, the dust, all of it has been frozen in time protected from the changes that affected the planets and asteroids closer to the sun. Scientists have theories that comets like SWAN may have played a crucial role in the development of life on Earth. Comets contain water ice and organic compounds, the building blocks of life. Billions of years ago when Earth was young, countless comets crashed into our planet, potentially delivering the water that filled our oceans and the organic molecules that helped spark the first life. So when you look up at Comet SWAN, you're not just looking at a pretty light in the sky, you're looking at a messenger from the ancient past, carrying secrets about how our solar system, and maybe even life itself, came to be. There's also something deeply humbling about it. This comet has been traveling for longer than recorded human history. It was already on its way here before the first pyramids were built, before the first cities rose, before humans invented writing. And now, for just a brief moment in cosmic time, we get to witness its passage. Our entire civilization exists in the blink of an eye compared to this comet's journey. And then it will leave, not to return for another 22,000 years. By then, humanity will be unimaginably different, if we're still here at all. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Comet SWAN, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more incredible space content.
incredible space.